So what is the difference between an HMAC and a digital signature? So HMAC stands for Keyed Hashed Message Authentication Code. I also have a dedicated video on what exactly this is and how it works. So if you want to know more details, please check this one out. Um, the thing is that with HMACs, you always have a shared secret. So in order to create an HMAC, you obviously need to have like a particular secret. Um, but if you receive an HMAC and you just want to check whether the content that you received along with this HMAC uh, actually belongs to uh, the HMAC you received, then you also need the same secret. In both cases, if you create this, this HMAC, or if you just want to check and verify that an HMAC belongs to a particular type of content, uh, then you need the same secret. And that's a big difference if you compare it to digital signatures, because with digital signatures, you leverage public key uh, crypto systems. So that means you have like a key pair, which consists of a private key and a public key. And with the private key, you can create signatures and with the public key, you can verify signatures. But with the public key, you can only verify. So you cannot create. The way both approaches work is you have like some content, right? So in case of, could be anything, short text, long text, a book, like anything. And with HMAC, what you have is you have this shared secret and then you hash, uh, then you apply like this HMAC function, right? So you have your secret, you have the content and you have an uh, hash function pre-selected and then you actually output uh, this message authentication code. And with the uh, digital signatures, what you do is you don't have like a shared secret, but you actually use like the private key to create like the signature. So the main difference is that you have like a shared key with HMAC. You don't have like a shared key and that you use a private and a public key with digital signatures. And that has a few interesting implications. So what you can say, for example, is that both systems like guarantee authenticity. So that means if uh, you are able to successfully verify like an HMAC, so you take some content, you HMAC it, and then you end up with the same HMAC that was sent to you, then you know that most probably it comes like from the party with which you have shared the secret with. Like unless your secret is trivial, but this is then like something you should avoid, obviously. And with the digital signature, it's the same because, uh, or even better, because if you have like a key pair, then you, of course, never distribute your private key. You only distribute the public key, right? So there's only one entity that has like, the private key only this entity can basically create signatures and that means if you are able to successfully verify a signature you know that it is coming from a particular party yeah and the same with data integrity so with hmac you can uh, make sure that the data hasn't been tampered with right if it has been tampered with then the hmac you calculate would be different from the one that you receive and if that happens you would reject like the data and in case of the digital signatures, well, you would just not be able to verify the signature uh, in case someone has tampered with the data. But there's one property that HMAC does not have, which digital signatures have, and that is called non-repudiation. So the thing is, with uh, digital signatures, only one party has the private key. So the private key is kept private and is not shared. So that means if you get like some information that has been signed, and you are able to verify the signature, then there's no way that party who that holds like the private key can say, oh, well, I did not create this. Because per definition, like you keep this private key private and only you have it. And there's just no way that you can create like this signature without the private key, unless you've been hacked, but that's like a, a bigger problem. With HMAC, you don't have this, right? So with HMAC, if you have two parties, you need to share like a secret and then you cannot prove which party made up like a particular message. That's why like digital signatures also in addition to authenticity and data integrity provide the property of non-repudiation. So you cannot deny that you, actu that you were actually the one that like signed this particular piece of data. Yeah. So if you look at this, you might say, well, looks like digital signatures are kind of like better in terms of features than HMAC. And you're actually right. So they can do more. The thing is, uh, digital signatures are more complex, but that's not an issue because there's like a lot of libraries these days. So that's why in general, like people tend to use like digital signatures. And um, even if you don't have 
uh, separated entities, right? So obviously, if two companies like make a contract and collaborate, you would, right? You don't trust like the other company. So that's why uh, you go like for this digital signature, like always. But even if your own system is verifying like the tokens, even then it would make sense to still go with the digital signature because you just have, you just distribute information on a need to know basis, right? So only the service or only the entity that creates the token knows the private key and no one else, no other microservice or I don't know, whoever uh, needs to verify this token, no, no one else knows the private key. Yeah. So in general, like people tend to rather go with these the digital signature approach. The thing is HMAC is like faster to compute, but that is typically not really a, a consideration like these days. If you have the choice, um, don't go with RSA, rather use elliptic curve cryptography. So ES256, if you're using JSON web tokens, for example, um, because it's the more modern crypto system and has like similar uh, security guarantees with shorter key sizes. Right, so typically this HMAC versus, di versus digital signature question comes up when you start to look into uh, JSON Web signature tokens. Yeah, so that's it pretty much. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel and you can also send me a tweet. My Twitter handle is at production coder. So thank you so much and see you around. Bye bye.